Hi everyone, so today I've got a haul video for you. Um, I've not filmed in, uh, well I've filmed but I've not edited in a couple of weeks um, and I haven't uploaded anything so I'm sorry about the little bit of a delay on videos. It's always hard when you're working, especially at Christmas time, Christmas parties, lots going on and lots of client events to go to so it's been kind of busy um, and I've got a 12 day break coming up and I'm going to see my parents and I'm going to eat lots of yummy Indian food. I can't wait, I love Indian food and my mum's made samosas and I love them. Um, especially homemade samosas, it's just so delicious. Um, and I'm just going to relax, watch some movies um, and edit my videos um, and get them uploaded um, for you guys. Um, otherwise, I've been doing a little bit of shopping, so I wanted to share that, um, show you guys what I've been buying. Um, it's crazy, all the sales are everywhere right now, so um, lots of things to buy. However, I haven't bought many things in the sales, just um, some general stuff that I kind of um, read up about and I thought was amazing, so I wanted to try. Um, but the first thing I wanted to show you was my watch. Now, I don't know if you guys have seen me wearing this watch in a um, previous videos, but I've had it for a few, maybe weeks or even months, um, and I just hadn't uh, had a chance to, I think I've not done a haul video, so I haven't shown you guys. So it's a Nixon um, all gold, matte gold watch, um, and I got that. Yeah, like I said a few weeks ago, um, and I love it. I absolutely love it. I think it's a men's watch. I'm not really sure, um, but I have a Michael Kors um, and a Marc Jacobs already, and I just wanted something different um, um, from those those kind of more kind of common brands. So that's why I went for the Nixon. I love this. I love gold chunky big watches. So it's perfect. Also, my nail color. This is from Topshop, and this is this one here, and it's called Disclosed, um, and I love it. It's kind of like a greeny blue. Um, pale blue it's a kind of a hard one you know when you look at it and people think of it as a different color it's one of them so I love that um, another couple of products that I'm wearing are my are on my lips and it's this Viva Glam MAC lipstick um, and it looks something like this um, it's kind of an old lipstick it's been out for a while but I never had it so um, I recently purchased that and I've put that on my lips and over that I've actually put this Gosh lip lacquer and the colour for this is Lovely Lips 002 and it's kind of a matte lip gloss it looks like a nail polish but when you open it up it's like this um, and you put it over your lips and it dries kind of matte so I've put that over the Viva Glam too and this is a kind of lip colour it's created if you like that um, then go for that um, another pro product I'm wearing on my face is this NYX Honey Dew Me Up product I had to have this shipped over from the States because and I got it online um, I've you know I've not seen it anywhere else I've seen a couple of YouTubers using it so I thought I'd give it a go I'm not loving it just yet um, I have put it on today because it is a little bit greasy and it takes quite a while to kind of um, soak into the skin. Um, so let me, I'm, I'm going to be persistent with it though because I have, you know, purchased it and I don't want to waste it. So I'll see how I get on and maybe I can do a review on that. So if you guys want a review, do click the like or, or let me know. Um, and another product that I'm wearing today um, that I bought from MAC yesterday is this Skin Finish um, Golden Glow, Global Glow, not Golden Glow, Global Glow. And it's a highlighter. And I've got that on today, I'm going to take the plastic out of it. And it looks something like this. So I'm wearing that on my cheekbones and my nose and the Cupid's bow and all those usual areas. Um, I wanted to try a golden gold highlighter rather than a silver based one, just because I tend to go for more of the silver based ones as you guys have probably seen in my videos. I like the Kevin Aquan one and I love my Tarte one, but they are kind of the silver whitey kind of shimmery um, bases rather than the golden highlighter. Um, so I wanted to try something different. So um, what do you guys think? Do do you think that the gold is better on my skin or do you prefer the the silvery kind of highlighters um you know i like it so far i've used it just today um to try it out and then so far i do like it, it gives you that kind of j-lo glow um a few more um beauty products that i've been i've purchased recently um from superdrugs i bought this revlon pinched um and it's just it's a lovely um cheek color and it's like kind of a like that like an orangey corally peachy color um literally just put it on your finger and on the apples of your cheek but on your cheeks and um, it gives you that kind of flushed um pinched look and i think i mean i don't i bought this probably a few weeks ago but I haven't used it very much yet. I think it'll come out a little bit more in the summer um, when the makeup gets a bit lighter um, and just a little bit more kind of um, sort of more of that kind of just that kit sun kissed kind of look and I think that'll work well with that. Um, so that was a, a nice product and actually a very similar product colour to that but in a powder form is from NARS and I bought this in Space NK and the colour on this is called Gina. 
and it's a blush it's a similar kind of color to the Revlon um, and that's like a cheek stain and this is like a powder version of the same color like peachy corally kind of color um, which I'm loving right now it's very natural and very flushed and very fresh looking rather than the over you know overdone makeup look um, so I've used this a couple of times and I really really like this um, so it's nice all the product description and prices and everything I will leave below so if you guys miss anything um, you can catch it down there um, another cheek colour I purchased was from Tom Ford um, and this is in 04 Savage. Now this is very similar to my Honor colour. Now I'm not sure about this. I've used it a few times but I'm not sure. I think it might be a bit too dark so maybe I need to be a little bit more, use it with a bit more of a lighter hand um, but I'm not 100% convinced yet um, but it's just such a beautiful colour as you can see it's kind of like got a gold shimmer to it um, and it's like a, a reddy kind of orangey um, cheap colour but it's similar to the Sleek's Honour if you're looking for a cheaper dupe. I have that one as well and I do love that. Um, another beauty product that I bought got H. another beauty product that I bought is um, Johnson's Baby Oil Gel. <laughs> I love this product. I got it from Poundland um, and I'm going to do a video on this because I use this in lots of different ways and I want to show you guys how I use this one product. This one product is seriously, if you haven't got it, buy it. It's such a good product. It is so good on good on your skin, um, and especially in this winter weather. You can use this in seriously a lot of ways. So if I'm traveling, I use this um, because there's multi-purpose uses for this and I'm going to do a video on that. So keep watching for that. Keep looking out for that. So I was on Regent Street the other day and I actually saw there was a Kiehl's and um, there's a new flagship store open for Kiehl's um, and I've not got anything from their range but I hear such good things about their products and how they're kind of more on the medical side um, and they're not sort of scented or anything like that. They're just for purely for results rather than kind of lots of amazing branding or packaging and I like that because it's just about, you know, it actually works. Uh, well, I hope so anyway because... I went in there and had a consultation, ended up coming out with a few bits and bobs. I didn't spend a crazy amount of money, but um, if you know, if I bought everything she'd recommended, I probably would have come out with maybe three, four hundred pounds worth of products, which you know, it's just crazy. But I did buy a few things, and the few things I did buy, I absolutely love. She gave me this little gym bag as well, which you know, you can just throw a few bits in for when you're traveling or going to the gym or something, which was really nice of her. And she gave me lots of samples as well, which was just really, really nice. Um, one of the products I bought was this Kiehl's um, Double Strength Deep Wrinkle Filler. Um, now this is actually, I mean, you know, I haven't really got wrinkles just yet, um, but it's actually for my lips and um, apparently this is amazing for your lips and if you put it on your lips, it fills in those fine lines um, before putting on a matte lipstick, but it also um, helps hydrate them. She sold it to me really well and she told me exactly all the medical kind of uh, benefits of it and it's amazing. Like I've tried it, I've used it a couple of times since buying it and I really, really like it. And I'm using that with their lip balm, which I bought in the flavor mint. Um, and they just got it back in stock again and it's this one it's really nice a little bit tingly and really really nice um, all these products are a tiny bit expensive um, however you know if they work then you know hopefully they'll be worth it and I also bought their actively correcting and beautifying BB cream um, in medium because she put this on me in the in the actual store and she's like it looked amazing it was so lightweight but gave me just enough coverage because you know you guys know i'm not into my foundation too much i do prefer bb creams um and this one's got some active ingredients that help kind of even out the skin as well over time so i'm hoping that will be the case because i really don't like the skin around my mouth area which is kind of a little bit darker than the rest of my face um so i'm hoping that that will help um counterbalance that a little bit over time um, a random product is my new iPhone 6 case. I do have um, this case on my phone at the moment, which I don't like because all the sides, which are white, are all covered in makeup now, which I really hate that. So um, I really love this colour, so I thought I'd brighten up my phone and bought this in the Apple store yesterday um, in Covent Garden. I love it in Covent Garden. It's so nice, especially at Christmas time. It feels so lovely. Everyone, you can smell mulled wine everywhere. <laughs> Um, and then just to finish, there's just a couple of bits of um, clothing and fashion I've been buying. I bought this kind of quilted jumper from H&M, which is um, just like so, and it's just white and quilted and warm and snuggly. Um, I did get a comment that I look like a temper mattress, um, but I don't care. I'm warm and it's all snuggly. And then I went into June and I picked up a couple of pairs of shoes in their sale, um, both kind of like ankle booties. So the first pair of these ones 
very simple and sleek just with a pair of skinny jeans i love pointed stilettos i love pointed boots so they're really um perfect they were originally something like there you go they were originally 90 pounds or 89 pounds and i got them for 53 so they're kind of like half price um and the second pair i bought are very very similar let me put these down and show you the second pair they were very similar actually but just a little bit taller um, and then these ones but one thing I really loved about these they've got the double zips um, which I love um, just very kind of like a bit more rock chick um, and these were 115 down to 57 <laughs> bless me um, and again they're pointy and leather and a stiletto heel so again would be perfect with skinny jeans um, and I'll style them you know probably for kind of everyday office and, and maybe going out as well um, and that's everything so um, I know the next couple of weeks are probably gonna really be damaging to my bank balance because during the Christmas period when I go to my parents house you know because I'm not working I tend to go out shopping and there's lots of sales going on so um, my credit card's gonna take a big battering I'm sure um, otherwise um, and, I, and I will obviously show you guys what I'm buying and follow me on Instagram because you know if I buy something super cool I normally take a picture and post it on there um, otherwise, um, that's it for now and have a lovely Christmas. If, if I'm editing this, hopefully before Christmas, have a lovely Christmas. Um, otherwise, I will see you guys next time. Um, take care of yourselves, be good and take care. Make sure you're always behaving yourself and acting appropriately. And remember, your bosses are there. Even if you feel like you're not being watched, you probably are being watched and you're probably being observed all the time. So just keep it appropriate and watch your behavior, watch your language.